We're standing in the National World War II Museum's newest pavilion, the Campaigns of Courage Pavilion. We have two levels. The first will tell the story of our victory in Europe, the road to Berlin. We're here on the second floor in the Road to Tokyo exhibit, The War in the Pacific. The mission of the museum is to tell the American experience of World War II, why we got in it, how we won it, and what it means to us today. The second part of the mission, how we won it, that's the story that gets told in this building. First thing visitors will experience in coming into the Campaigns of Courage Pavilion is our atrium, which has a Messerschmitt 109 hanging in it, in a very dramatic pose. This was a plane that gave us terrible fits in Europe, and we have an audio track of that plane zooming and climbing and swooping in on you. It's very dramatic. In the road to Berlin, we have several macro artifacts. These are things larger than, say, a motorcycle, and they include a very large howitzer, 105 millimeter, that was used against German tanks in North Africa, a very important and dramatic artifact. We'll also have jeeps, field equipment, uh, weaponry, um, also a German staff car. The Battle of the Bulge is one environment that's actually a show environment. So it does have artifacts, but it has lots of interactive media and a lot of narrative video. Very compelling environment. Well, the plane that's behind me now is a recently restored P-40 Warhawk fighter. This plane saw a lot of service in the China, Burma, India theater in the Pacific. This one is painted as a flying tiger. Do you see the shark's mouth behind me? And that has a big Louisiana connection in General Claire Chenault, who led the Flying Tigers organization. 